how does somebody deal with feelings of jealousy or envy or comparison? T to me, that comes from insecurity. So to me, when someone is in that place, and again, I'm talking generally, all right? When, when someone's in that place, that comes from insecurity. And if someone's insecure, that means that their love for themselves, their self-esteem, their confidence, their confidence, whatever it is, it's like it's like it's lacking it and that has to be built up. Because when we're feeling whole, when we're feeling in our bodies, when we're feeling confident, we love ourselves. I, I don't I don't know if jealousy is as big of an issue. When we don't feel like we're lacking in a certain area, I don't believe jealousy is as big of an issue when it comes to whatever. Someone who is in, you know, just really in themselves, not not egotistically, but like they own their whole, they feel themselves, they're, they're, they're self-actualized, however you want to put this. When their like partner is talking to somebody else that they don't, that when their partner is like interacting with somebody else, I, I don't know if jealousy is the feeling that comes up. I think that it might be like, whoa, what's going on? Like curiosity and, and maybe like, you know, let's talk about this. Like what's going on between the two of you? I don't know if jealousy is the same sensation and feel free to, to disagree with me. I would love to hear, put it in the chat. I, I want to know what you think. I don't know if jealousy is, is, is a, a part of that. When you feel whole and competent and confident and I don't know if we feel jealous of our neighbors, you know what I mean? I don't know if we feel jealous of what other people have or envious. I don't, I don't know if we compare ourselves, at least not as much or as intensely. So I think the more anchored we are in our safety state, it just kind of softens these other things. Like when we're looking at what people have and what we don't have, to me, there's energy to that. There's, there's, there, uh, there's feeling, there's like flight by energy. I would say it's more, more like flight, like you're afraid you're losing something maybe fight like jealousy can have a tinge of aggression to it, I think. So to me, that feels like too much flight fight energy. But I just like, when you're okay with yourself, I don't think you need as much stuff. I don't think you need what other people have. I don't think you're as upset about it. I don't think you're as rageful or envious. I just, I don't think so. I think that when it comes to like, and I don't talk about this stuff, so I'm kind of making this up. This is, this is not my typical you know, stuff I talk about, but with our partners or our spouses or the people that we're, you know, with, I don't know. I don't know if jealousy is a big factor in that. I think alarm can be, I think concern, I think curiosity can be like, Hey, what's going on here with you and that other person? But I don't think it's like jealousy. I think it's more like if something's going on, we're done potentially, or maybe work it out. I don't know. But if something's going on, like this is, I'm not putting up that because I love myself too much to, to put up with that or to deal with lies or, you know, secrets or like you missing for hours at a time. Like I'm not going to, I just, I care about myself too much and I don't need you on that in that way. I think someone who's jealous kind of needs, they're dependent on in a sense, emotionally, the other person. And uh, like that's different than love. That's different than just feel con feeling connected and being with you know a partner. I think it's different. When you're emotionally dependent, I think jealousy can be a part of that insecurity. How to build self esteem? Just self care. Yeah, but uh, no. <laughs> yes and no. It depends on what you mean by self care. I think a lot of self care stuff is nonsensical and doesn't really do a whole lot except for. Um, hold back like it, i think some self-care care stuff can act as a dam so there's a ton of like defensive energy and then we'll take a warm bath and that kind of helps but doesn't really help with the it just kind of blocks it's a dam it doesn't really it doesn't help in the long run it's just kind of like i got the day do some self-care do it again the next day like it's not exactly helpful so it i wouldn't say it helps build self-esteem i think that's a way to cope and that's fine that's that's Really good. It's better than not coping, right? So that's fantastic. If you're doing that, keep doing it. But at the same time, 
to actually deal with our defensive energy, we have to build the capacity to feel safe, not just cope, but like build the capacity to feel safe and then eventually deal with the stuff, defensive stuff at some point. To build self-esteem, that's different though. I think it's connected, that's different. I think with self-esteem, we need to uh, work on ourselves through being successful. I don't think self-esteem comes from the outside as far as like someone giving it to us. Uh, it doesn't just magically appear. I don't think it comes through, you know, routine self-care stuff. I think it comes from uh, meeting challenges. And that might be uh, looking inward and dealing with some of that stuff. And then that, that could lead to success and that could lead to feelings of confidence and self-esteem. But success, I think, is like absolutely integral to the process of building self-esteem. Like, you know, it's it's not just success, like I did something, but like I sustained effort and I pushed through and I did the thing. A student that has a big test that they're terrified of, that works their butt off to like study and then passes the test, they're going to feel more confident. They're going to feel that's going to boost their self-esteem. But them not studying and then going to the teacher and saying, hey, can I have an extra week? And the teacher says, yeah, sure. That's, I don't think that's going to help their self-esteem. I don't think it's going to help their confidence because they're, they're not exactly meeting the challenge. Yeah, I think self-esteem and success through challenge, I think, are absolutely essential. They, they go together. Emma says, yeah, I think curiosity is the best thing to fall back on when trying to feel or look closer at any negative emotion. Insecurity is a powerful drug. Interesting. Curiosity and communication so much better. Absolutely, of course. It's interesting that you said um, insecurity is a powerful drug because that that, that kind of went through my mind. I didn't say that loud, but I was I was that like that addiction element to it, like you said, drug. That kind of flitted through my mind. I, I didn't think I could expand on it, but uh, there is something that's self fulfilling about it. Is that a good way to put it? That feeds into itself. And again, these are things I've tried to flesh out. So I'm just, this is what just top of mind kind of stuff. But there, there is something about that that is kind of circular. Self-esteem also increases safe and social. Yeah, I would say so. They, they, I think they feed into each other. I think that we have to, like when you're successful, you sustain energy, you sustain flight fight energy to accomplish a thing. The thing is accomplished. And then you feel like, I think you go up further into your safety state. You feel whole, you feel connected, you feel safe but powerful you know what i mean but to me it's like when if we were out in the wild and we had to hunt something we would feel that aggression and we would go after whatever it is we had to hunt whether maybe it's just picking berries too we, we feel like we got to find some fucking berries <laughs> and so we go out and find some fucking berries we have this drive to accomplish the thing and we have to sustain that effort until we accomplish the thing and then when we accomplish the thing whether it's tackling a mountain lion <laughs> i don't know how to hunt mountain lions by the way uh whether it's picking berries i think i could do that like once you accomplish it it's like you feel that i don't need this sympathetic energy anymore and it, it'll discharge from your system like whether it's lunging running and lunging and tackling and using the sympathetic energy and then recovering and having access to your safety state or you're just mobilized and searching maybe even desperately and then you find the berries and you put them in your mouth and, ah, you know, I don't need that defensive energy anymore or that predatory energy. And now I can access my safety state. Like, like I succeeded and now I can be safe. I succeeded and now I'm alive, you know? 